Prince Nicolai, a rebellious European prince with Chinese ancestry who chose fame on the runway of the throne, earning the title of the male god that European girls most want to marry. From leaving the royal family behind to becoming an iconic model for Burberry and Dior. So how his life turned out, and who is the lucky girl that won the prince's heart? But before we get started, this may be the last time you see this channel. So hit the subscribe button for more stories in the future. Let's begin. Welcome to the magical land of Denmark, a lovely Nordic country with a fascinating history and a captivating royal family. Denmark is filled with beautiful scenery and fairy tale-like castles, and it's a place where old traditions mix harmoniously with modern life. At the center of this captivating country, you'll find the Danish royal family, whose lineage goes back many generations. The Danish royal family is led by King Frederick and his elegant queen, Margrethe II. The people of Denmark love them dearly because of their regal grace and warm smiles. They are not just rulers, but also cherished symbols of unity and continuity for the nation. The royal family is involved in charitable work, supporting culture, art, and sustainability, making them role models for the entire country and even beyond. When you explore Denmark's unique culture, you'll see that the royal family's influence goes beyond their impressive palace. The whole nation comes together to celebrate special occasions like grand state banquets and colorful parades with a strong sense of togetherness and pride. Despite their royal status, the family is down to earth and connects with their people, making everyone feel like they are part of one big royal family. One of the country's young royals who has captured attention is Prince Nicolai. Nicolai was born in 1999 into the Danish royal family. His father, Prince Joachim, is the second son of the Queen of Denmark, and his mother, Wen Yali, is the first Chinese princess in Europe. As the Queen's eldest grandson, Nicola is the next in line for the throne, which gives him a significant advantage. However, Nicola's family life wasn't always easy. His parents divorced when he was just six years old. Despite their efforts to co-parent, the divorce had an impact on Nicola, making him more rebellious and less interested in traditional paths. Initially, Nicola showed great promise under the expectations of the royal family. He excelled in various sports like football, skiing, and rugby, and he did well academically too. He even had the opportunity to be a guest DJ on a Danish radio program. After finishing high school, Nicola joined the Royal Danish Army Academy, as arranged by the royal family. Given his background, Nicola has several options for his future, including a potential career in the army or business. Nicholas made a surprising decision during his coming-of-age ceremony. He chose to leave the royal family and all its responsibilities, opting to pursue a career in modeling instead. Some people might think it's similar to rich kids who work just for the experience, knowing they can fall back on their family wealth. But Nicholas is serious about his modeling career and is actually very successful at it. His father even supports his choice. Nicholas is exceptionally good-looking, being the only person with Chinese blood who is this beautiful. With his parents' great genes and royal background, he had a smooth start in modeling. He got his first big break when Burberry invited him to their show, and he impressed everyone with his figure and appearance, earning the title of European Girl's Most Desired Prince. He began appearing in many luxury fashion shows. In 2023, something big happened in Denmark. Queen Margrethe Aithu made an announcement that shook the country. She said Prince Nicolai would no longer be called a prince. Why did she do this? Well, it turns out that Prince Nicolai wanted to have a different kind of life, away from royal stuff. The Queen thought it was best to let him choose his own path without royal responsibilities. She also wanted him to be able to support himself financially, not depending on the royal family's money. This decision got people talking. Some folks agreed with the Queen, thinking it was the right move for Prince Nicolai to have a normal life. Others didn't like it at all, saying it was unfair to him and could harm the Danish royal family. Later, Dyer's new creative director noticed him 
and hired him as the prestigious opening and final model. Nicholas is now making good money and enjoying his success. In the end, being handsome can indeed be rewarding, especially when combined with hard work and talent. So here comes the question, who is the lucky girl that won the prince's heart? The answer is his high school classmate, Benny. Benny's father is the chairman of a Danish bank, so she comes from a wealthy family. She and Nicholas have known each other since high school and developed a relationship. At first, they kept their relationship private, but as they got older and talked about marriage, they became more open about it. They spent time together, went shopping, and their love grew. However, when news of their relationship came out, people didn't offer their blessings. Instead, they mocked them. Some criticized Benny's appearance and compared her to Nicholas' mother, saying she didn't look like his girlfriend. But true love isn't about appearances or social status. As long as Prince Nicholas loves Benny, that's all that matters. Even Nicholas' mother, Princess Wen Yali, approved of their marriage, having gone through her own struggles for love and marriage. Princess Wen Yali's life story is an inspirational one. She excelled in her studies from a young age, studied abroad in various countries, and speaks multiple languages. Love knows no boundaries, and it's not about what others think. Nicholas and Benny found happiness together, just like his parents did when they married, despite any criticism they faced. When Yali got divorced in 2005 and received a large sum of money and a mansion. After thinking she might stay single, she surprised everyone by marrying a younger diamond dealer just two months later. But that marriage didn't last either. A few years later, Wen Yali divorced again, saying they had different values. She was already 51 years old at the time. When someone asked her why she bothered with love at her age, she replied that she would rather be single than give up on the life and love she wanted. Maybe this is why Nicholas doesn't want to be a king and prefers a modeling career. His parents' marriages may have influenced him, and he didn't have faith in royal marriages. So, he chose to date a high school classmate and pursued a modeling career he loves instead. Now that he's independent, some might think it's a better choice. Prince Nicolai chose a path that diverged from his royal lineage, embracing a modeling career and love outside of his social circle. Do our choices truly define our contentment, or do societal norms still shape our decisions? What lessons can we draw from Prince Nicolai's journey? Have you ever had to make a decision that went against societal expectations or family traditions? Share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget, in the world of fame and secrets, the stories never fade. Catch you on the scandalous side. Thank you for watching.